Hello, hello, and welcome back to Thomas Talks. And today it's a glorious Thursday, sun's out, and we're almost at the weekend. Woohoo! So, I've, after a bit of requests, uh, I'm going to be doing a comparison video on the Louis Vuitton. Just let me get it over. Uh, pocket organizer, which is my particular ones in the Tega Yellow against the Slender Wallet. Um, a lot of people have been commenting, especially another video done this against the card holder and they were thinking, why would you not compare it against the wallet? So this is the video for you guys. So we'll start off right away, both of them are similarly constructed with kind of the, obviously the, got the lining on the side of it, they open up and you can get your cards as you can see going across there. If I lift a couple of cards out of this one, you can see, oops, it's going to be hard to see lime green on lime green, but just for reference, this is a parking ticket thing. There we go, so there's two cards in there, so you can see the split of them. For reference, this is my typical wallet, and it's uh, got a couple of receipts, a little bit of cash, and most of the cards I use, like your club card and your sparks card, bank card, driver's license. So that's kind of how thick it is uh, in comparison to a pretty empty one. You can see it's almost like I say that's about two thirds of the thickness of that one, which has got so much in it. Uh, if I take some of these other carbs out, it doesn't get too bulky. I actually quite use, quite like using the yellow one on holiday just for carrying a bit because you're not carrying too much cash when you're out and about. And I think when you've got sunnier weather, weather even <laughs> the yellow one's just a little bit more fun uh, in hotter climates, and obviously being. And not so sunny Scotland, the kind of brown kind of helps every day for use, but anyway, digress. So that's them pretty much got the amount of card, that's got a pretty much a card in every internal component. You can see how thick that is. You can see the wallet, there we go. So the wallet's still a little bit fractionally thicker. I quite like how the size of that is, it looks a little bit taller. It's a lot narrower as well, so it fits in your pocket quite easy. Um, so that's a pro for this. If you're maybe something you don't want some bulging out your pocket too much, pocket and high pocket organizer is definitely the way to go. There's loads of little bits you for putting cash. Neither of them have got coin storage. You can get a wallet with the coin bit on the side, but none of them have got the coin storage. And really, I've not really came across I kept myself carrying coins too much. I've got a wee couple of coins in the centre of the car for like parking meters and stuff. Most of the time, it's contactless when you're at the shops, and especially with this uh, virus going around. <laughs> everybody's using contactless or trying to when we can. So that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. I just kind of want to show you, obviously, the quality materials, both really high quality. I think that's just over a year old now. I think this has come up to be three years old. Uh, so it's worn really well. I do use this pretty much every day, about 300 odd days a year. In comparison, I've probably only used this maybe since I've had it for two weeks worth, maybe when I was on holiday. Uh, as I said, since we box mostly sits by, it's probably a little bit better condition. This one's got a wee bit of dog gear and bent at the top. but. As you can see, the leather's held up well. Got the vinyl, like kind the of plastic isn't like piercing or anything like that, so that's kind of a good sign. But as you can see, overall, they're both trimmed. That's trimmed in black and that's trimmed in brown. But like, I'm really more surprised that this one's like held up so well. It's got a wee bit of fray around the corner right there, uh, and a wee bit of a dog ear up here. But apart from that, quality's there. I know there's not much in it in price wise. I think this is about. This is like 220 and I think this was about 300 maybe 310 I think. Um, the prices increase all the time and I can never remember, but I think there's only about £60 pounds the or there was between them, so uh, I kind of think the pocket organizer is kind of good value and I just love the colour. You get the, the blue and the orange as well now for that, which is a bit more fun. The print's a bit different. Uh, that's a bit more normal. I've seen get us in black and classic Louis Vuitton and all that kind of stuff, so yeah, you can take it or leave it in both of them, but if it was me, and you want to buy one of these, go for the pocket organizer. A wee bit cheaper, a more compact. You can get just about the same amount of cards in it. As I said, there's a little bit of storage for cash. If you're carrying loads of cash, obviously the wallet's got two bits there. You can put your cash notes in there. I end up carrying loads of receipts, which I should probably get rid of. But uh, yeah, if you're going to have a nice tidy wallet or a nice tidy pocket organizer, and you're only carrying four or five cards all the time, then go for the pocket organizer. 
Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on the comparison of both. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Thomas Talks below to get, get new videos out to you as and when I can. And please check out my other videos. We've got plenty of Louis Vuitton and other kind of fashion videos on this channel. Um, make sure you subscribe, comment below any questions, what is your favourite out of the two of these. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching.